Hi, welcome back Well 2 family. My name is David Sidisa and today we're going to be showing you how to walk the cup on some aluminum. So let's get to it. Check out weldlife.com and shop all welding gear showed in this video. Alright guys, so I got a T-joint here. We got a half inch aluminum plate. We're welding up this T-joint and we're actually going to be walking the cup to fill it kind of how you would, uh, you know, carbon and stainless, stuff like that. And then we're also just going to, you know, pad some beads on top of this half inch aluminum plate as well just to show you guys an actual walk instead of, you know, against the T-joint. I know walking the cup on aluminum, you know, it's not normal. It's not a normal thing to do. Typically, you, uh, you know, you'll freehand and kind of just dab as you move along. But we're actually going to be, you know, resting the cup against T-joint here and weaving a bead in here. All right, so today we're going to be running on this Dynasty 280. As you can see, we got it set on AC. The process, high frequency impulse, so it'll you know, high frequency start. Our output is on a remote standard, you know, just a normal foot operation. I have the pulse off and I have the pre-flow set at 0.3. I have the pulse flow set at auto. I have the balance at pro set, which is at 75. And I have the frequency also at pro set, which is 120. And again, amps, 240 amps. All right, guys, so I have our 6061 aluminum here. And I'm going to be using 4043 filler. I'm running a 1 8 lanthanated tungsten, which is the blue one. I'm running a 10 cup. You know, I'm just running a regular, regular TIG rig, the valve, but it, is, it does have the solenoid on the Dynasty. So I'm just going to leave this valve open and let the machine do, do the work. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready to weld up this T-joint here. And you know, just be walking just like you would a kind of a carbon steel, stainless steel T-joint. The only thing that's going to be different is the way I have to feed the filler metal. You know, I kind of will have to kind of dab and push. It's not going to be kind of a constant puddle like, uh, like the other alloys. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start right here. Once the arc starts, you're going to have to heat up the plate a little bit for that, that puddle to start turning shiny. Once it starts turning shiny, then we're going to start adding filler metal. Walk, normal rocking motion. We do have the cup resting against the bottom plate and the the T-joint here, the, the vertical plate, so you know, just rest against it and start moving, rocking, steady motion, moving forward, just making sure you're fusing, you know, both ends and making sure you're putting metal, you know, evenly, you know, on both the bottom plate and the top joint. All right, just remember when you're, when you're putting your filler metal, make sure that you're distributing the metal evenly between the bottom plate and the vertical plate. You know, you want a nice 45 degree fillet. You don't want all the metal to be down at the bottom or up against the vertical joint. You want to make a nice, even fillet weld. All right, so we got our first pass in. I'm going to go ahead and put a second pass just to kind of build this up a little bit more. And, you know, settings will be the same. All right, so we're starting up right here on our second pass. And same thing, you know, make sure you heat up the base metal first. Real important, make sure that you're, you know, distributing the metal evenly again. You know, it's a little hotter this time and you already have metal underneath. So just try to keep your metal on the upper side a little bit. You know, gravity will pull it down a little bit. You know, not too much. You know, you still want a nice, even 45 degree fillet weld. And then, you know, just keep a nice steady walking motion. Try to maintain that, you know, that puddle in the fluid motion and just keep dabbing filler metal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, walk a bead on top of this plate. I already have some lines scribed in here as a guide, and it'll be a walking motion just like on pie plate, you know, typical walking the cup, you know, and just maintaining a puddle. So, so I got the same settings as before in the T-joint, 240 amps. Go ahead and start. All right, guys, so gonna go ahead and start our first, you know, walking the cup bead on top of this plate. Firing up here, start heating up. The base material, get it nice and hot. Look at the nice shiny puddle you got going. Then go ahead and start adding some filler metal. You know, here you're gonna have, you're gonna wanna have a constant kind of feed of, of filler metal. You don't wanna kind of make it run out. You know, it's really hard to restart that puddle. Just keep a nice constant feed. Keep a nice constant walk. You know, just even left to right, left to right, just like any other, you know, material. Just a nice steady walk. Watch your puddle, watch the edges where you're, where you're stopping. You know, and just continue to walk all the way through. All right, guys, so we got our first bead on here. 
you know, that's usually my, my normal kind of walk. It's usually a little bit tighter of a weave. On the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a wider weave, just so you guys can see the, a little bit of a difference here in the walk. All right, so we're gonna start on our second bead here. You know, same thing, heating up base material. And on this pass, I'm gonna go ahead and widen up the weave just a little bit. You know, just to show you guys a, you know, a difference in appearance on this. So here we're just taking a, you know, a more drastic step, a more wider step. Same thing, constant feed, just a little bit wider step. You know, as it starts getting hot, you may have to start, you know, letting off the, the foot pedal a little bit, getting off the amperage, just to try to maintain the same puddle and just continue to walk all the way through. All right, guys, I know walking the cup, you know, it, it can be frowned upon on, a, on aluminum. You know, we are touching the cup to the aluminum surface and stuff like that. You know, this is not meant to be for, you know, real critical stuff. This is not the norm. You know, you usually freehand, you know, you try to keep this real clean, you know, but this technique here, it works when you're working on something that's not as critical. It's really hot. It's really hard to freehand. You got nowhere to, to brace yourself. You know, this is when this technique kind of really helps out. You know, you can layer metal in there just like you would a pipe using the, the cup to stabilize you to your advantage. All right guys, so there you have it. I showed you guys how to walk the cup on a T-joint and patting some beads here on this aluminum. You know, I know it's not a normal thing to do. It's a different kind of technique, but it does come in handy sometimes. All right guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to check out any of the cool gear I use here, like this chop pipe liner and stuff, don't forget to check out welllife.com.